A while back, somebody sent us a giant box filled with obsidian, and we've used it in probably three or four different videos. This is what we've got left over now. So we came up with the idea of making a bullet out of obsidian, shooting it out of our air cannon. And here is our finished product. We have two 150 caliber obsidian bullets. These will be shot at 300 miles an hour. That's gonna do some damage. You know what these remind me of? Oh, hopefully not something gross. No, Audible, the sponsor of today's video. <laughs> oh yeah. We'd like to thank Audible for sponsoring this video. Audible is the best place to get started if you want to listen to audiobooks. They have the largest selection available and you can listen to it anytime, anywhere, and you can switch devices without losing your place. With Audible, every month you get one credit, which is good for any of their audiobooks, no matter what the price. And you also get access to the fitness library uh, to help you you know, get fit and things. Plus the books are yours. Even if you decide to cancel your membership, you get to hang on to those. If you pick a book and you don't like it, then you can exchange it for a different one. No questions asked. Help support our channel by trying Audible for free. You can click on the link down in the description. You can go to audible.com slash waterjet, or you can text waterjet to 500-500. Uh, I'd recommend Unbroken. Uh, it's a great book. Awesome story, very inspirational, and not the kind of inspirational that's just telling you like to hustle and to work hard. This is like the most crazy story about the endurance of the human spirit that you can go through anything, uh, how to get through crazy obstacles and trials. You're not gonna hate it, but if you do, uh, you can get your money back. And if you do hate it, unsubscribe. So now that you are all using Audible, you no longer have a need for books. So we're gonna show a quick 10 second DIY craft you can do at home to repurpose your old books into something a little more useful. All you'll need for this craft is a stack uh, of old books or even just one uh, and a water jet and some AR500 bulletproof plate. We have a finished product. Do you care to demo it? Here it is, bulletproof. And it's, you know, over the most vital portions, you know, where you're, so if you need to fake that it's still a real book, you know, you've got that option. Uh, and then you got your phone in the center. So if you've got Bluetooth, you can listen to your phone. You can read the book without even having to open it and it'll blow people's minds. <laughs> And that is how you turn your old books into a bulletproof phone case slash body shield slash audible listening. Wherever you need the most shielding, you can just move it. Portable. It's a portable shielding device. <laughs> and it also protects your phone. Okay, we've got two shots. First shot, we're going to be testing our prototype bulletproof book phone case. And you've, you're listening to it right now? Yep, I got it. I got it, chapter four. And uh, you're gonna use a piece of plywood to shield yourself? Just the vitals. Dave, you approve of this, right? Well, it's still questionable. <laughs> but you're not stopping us, so. No. <laughs> After hours. Okay, three, two, one. Where'd it go? We should have screwed this together like we did last time out. <laughs> that is the actual AR 500 plate right there. So if that had not been there, you would no longer be listening to your book. Or I'd have a cracked screen. Maybe I still do. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> it doesn't look to be super dented. There are shards of obsidian up here underneath the strap. <laughs> so we got to go back and view the slow-mo. So 
there's the uh, bulletproof plate. Definitely play. see where it hit. And then the phone. Looks fine. This is the bigger of the two. The goal is to break the cinder block since we didn't break it with a banana. A frozen banana. Do you think this one will work? I uh, hope. Yeah. What'll probably happen is it'll hit right here where it's strongest and just explode. <laughs> uh, we'll see. That'll be just our luck. So that answers that question. Uh, an obsidian bullet is stronger than a frozen banana. In case anyone was wondering. Uh, I don't see anything that looks like real impacty on the front of any of those, except for maybe like that brown spot. I don't know. Play, play <laughs> it back, man. So it looks like a big chunk of the obsidian goes off this way. Like I mean, like it could have shattered even smaller once it hit the ground. Like even with the high speed, it's really hard to tell like how fast it was moving this direction. Could have gone 10 feet, could have gone on the roof. So what's the moral of this video? If you're running from guys with obsidian bullets from air cannons, um, bulletproof books will protect your phone. That's the takeaway. And your heart. Thanks again to Audible for sponsoring this video and making it possible. And don't forget to get your free trial of Audible by going to audible.com slash waterjet. You can click on the link down in the description or you can text waterjet to 500500. Subscribe!